Hey, Michelle here from michelleshafer.com and I promised you over the weekend that I would show you how I created this infographic that I shared on my blog. This one I made about what the benefits are of joining the Ultimate Blog Challenge. You can see that I've got a little summary of what it is, what you get when you join, some of the reasons people join, some cool step-by-step -step graphics, and a pie chart with the results of it. So. I made this in less than an hour, only because I was really playing around a lot. Could have been faster. I didn't have to open Photoshop. I didn't have to go search for stock photography or try to figure out how to create a pie chart. I used this very awesome tool called PictoChart. PictoChart allows you to create infographics with a really simple drag and drop interface. So this is PictoChart. When you click register or log in, you start by choosing a theme. Now the free version of PictoChart is limited in how many themes you can choose. I created that Ultimate Blog Challenge graphic with one of the free themes. After I saw how cool it was and how easy it was to use, I upgraded to Premium. So what you're seeing on my screen now is some of the Premium choices. What you do is just pick the particular graphic that you want to create. So you can scroll down through here, choose one that you like. and then you would click load theme. What happens next is the editor loads. So now you can see in my window on the right side this is a preview of what my infographic looks like. There's some editing options up here and then on the left side I want to edit. So I could go down here and click on new header and change that. This is just like editing in Word or another program. You can select your text, you can change your size. You can change your font, you can change the color, you can change how it's aligned. So you've got lots of options here. You can change any of these elements. You can also delete elements easily. So if I didn't want to there, I could just delete that. So as you scroll down on your infographic and enter your information, that's all you do is you just click on what you want to edit, you change it. See how simple and easy that is? And then you can look over here. And these are some different things that you can add. For example, you can drag and drop a shape. You can resize it. You can change the color. So you can easily change what that looks like. If you don't like it, you just get rid of it. You've also got some graphics that you can add, some social networking buttons, cool little robot. You can drag and drop text over. So if you wanted to add text where there wasn't any, you've got headings, subheadings, paragraph text, links. In the pro version, you can upload your own images, so I could put myself over here on my infographic if I wanted to. And then for each theme, you have the option of using the theme graphics. So you can see there's light bulbs and a couple things specific to this theme. If I wanted to, I could drag and drop another light bulb over here. I can play with that to get that the way I'd like it to look. So there's lots of options for each theme. You can change those graphics as well. So you can see how easy this is. It's really just drag and drop, which is awesome because as someone who uses Photoshop regularly, I know how long it takes to put something like this together in Photoshop. This is way simpler. I was able to create something much faster and honestly more polished looking than I could have done quickly in Photoshop. So your options after you get your infographic on here and get whatever data you want, you can save it. It'll save in your account so that you come back, come back and edit it later. Or you can download it. You can download it as a PNG image, which then you can upload to your blog and have your own infographic like I've created here. So again, the URL for that is pictochart.com. It's P-I-K-T-O chart.com. Encourage you to take a look at the free version, play with it a little bit, see if it might be the perfect solution for you for creating infographics.